In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can design a t-shirt for your online store in just a few minutes. That's coming up. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a lot of fun. I'm actually going to design a t-shirt right in front of you from scratch. I'm going to do it in just a few minutes. And this is a pain point for a lot of people. It's a struggle for a lot of people. You know, designing t-shirts for print on demand or for your online store can be time consuming or you have to learn some software or you end up paying a designer a lot of money. We all know this can kind of be frustrating. And so today I'm going to show you how easy it is. And we are going to use Photoshop. Really just, you just need to know a few things inside Photoshop to, to kind of maneuver around. And there are a lot of other ways to do this, uh, even easier than Photoshop, but I think Photoshop is probably what most people are attempting to use or are using to design their t-shirts. And so we're gonna jump in my computer, we're gonna set a timer, and I'm gonna design a t-shirt right in front of you. Let's do it. Okay, we're inside my computer, I've got uh, Photoshop pulled up. Now, full disclaimer, I do have uh, so an image that I'm gonna use that I got from Etsy, and I'll explain that when I get to it. And I do kind of already have an idea for what I'm going to do, but you're still going to see me kind of go through the struggles of formatting and figuring things out. And I'm going to explain everything that I'm clicking and what I'm doing as I go. And I'm going to do it with this timer. So 10 minutes on the countdown. We're going to start it right now. All right. So inside Photoshop, here are the recommended settings that I recommend for you when designing t-shirts. Width, 10 inches. Height, 12 inches. 300 pixels per inch. RGB color mode. Check with your print-on-demand provider. Make sure that those settings will work for your specific print-on-demand provider. First thing I'm going to do down here in the layers panel is I'm going to double click on this background layer and I'm uh, just to unlock it so that we can do some things with it, okay? That's the first thing I'm going to do. Next, I'm going to bring in this little heather gray pattern here and I'll explain why later, but I just got that from Google. I literally just Googled heather gray. Uh, like a dark heather gray on Google. Uh, and then I have a couple other things I'm going to bring in. There are these footballs. And we're going to design a football mom shirt. And we're going to replace the the O with uh, with a heart, football heart. And so I'm going to bring in all these football hearts. Um, I think there's four there. I'm going to bring those in. I'm going to hit the enter key four times. It's going to just confirm. And so I've got four footballs now. And I've got this heather gray. So I'm going to turn off the heather gray layer by just clicking this eyeball. And then I'm actually going to group these together. So I'm going to hold down shift, click all four of those, and I'm going to hit this little uh, folder icon down here at the bottom. And that's going to group those together. And we'll just rename those real quick. We will call those footballs. Okay. And we're going to hit the little eyeball and turn that off. And next, I am going to hit the T key to make sure I can type text. And I am going to type in with kind of a just a bold font. We are gonna have to find a font here. Let's just go with Bebus for right now, or Bebos, however you say that. And I wanna do a bold font, so I'm gonna type football. And I am going to double click on this T to highlight the text, okay? And I'm gonna move it over here, and I'm gonna make it smaller so that it fits. Now I like to fill up most of the, the canvas area when I'm designing. So I'm gonna get that pretty big, but just kind of right there in the middle. And I've got this little bold thing selected. I'm actually gonna unselect that. So here is our font, so we can actually make that a little bit bigger. Okay. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type out the word mom. So I deselected my layer by just clicking another layer over here. I want to make sure I hit T so that I can type text. And I'm just going to click out here in this white space. And I'm going to type the word mom. Okay. And then I'm going to double click on it. And I want like a scripty, you know, cute font for this. So I've got a couple that I know of that I can see if I can find. That one must not be in there. So the other one I was going to try. Black pink does not look very good. So we're going to go with south wind. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. We're gonna pull this out to the middle. Okay, so that's what we're gonna go with for now. I'm not sure that that's my favorite font for this, but we're just gonna go with it for now. So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna going to look through these footballs and kind of figure out which one that I like the most. So I'm just hitting the eyeballs over here and just kind of playing with, you know, these just what's turned on and turned off. So I need to figure out which one I like the most. I've got four. So I'm gonna scroll through those now. We've got that one. We've got this one. Are those even different? Those look pretty similar. 
Oops, I'm hitting buttons. So you're seeing just kind of the craziness as you do this. There's that one. And so it looks like the bottom two are a little more defined. I think I'm gonna go with one of these top ones. That's just like a little, it looks more like a drawing. Now I got like 10 or 15 footballs from Etsy and I paid $1.99 for all of those footballs. So super cheap, $1.99, I got all those footballs. You can use them on, on t-shirts, okay? So I've got um, this little football here. What I'm gonna do, I wanna make that a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna hit Command T, that's gonna bring this up and that will let me drag this and make it a little bit smaller. I don't know how big I need it to be yet, but I'm gonna just make it a little bit smaller, put it right there in the middle just by dragging. Now I'm gonna turn back on my mom word, okay? And you can see mom is gonna have to be a lot bigger to actually fit there. So I'm gonna double click the T and I'm gonna make that a lot bigger and try to see if I can fit that there. We're gonna go with that for now and I'll show you why in just a second. Now. You know, there's probably lots of ways to do this inside Photoshop, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, over here where on my layer that says mom, I'm gonna drag it down and duplicate it to this little plus sign. That's gonna give me two moms. Now I'm gonna turn one of the moms off and I'm gonna right click on this one that's on and I'm going to click rasterize type. Hey, if you're getting value out of this video or if you're just enjoying seeing me struggle through this design process, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, Hit the bell icon, that'll make sure you get notified every week, every Tuesday when we put out new videos. Back to the training. And what that's gonna do is gonna change it from text to like a picture, so it's not text anymore. Now I'm gonna hit the E button on my keyboard to change over to eraser. And I am gonna have to make that eraser bigger, so I'm gonna click right up here and pull this to make it bigger. You can see how big it is right now. A little uh, shortcut is you can hit the little bracket. There's like a bracket key that you can hit on your keyboard. So that's, uh, see, I'm, I was typing by accident. You hit a little bracket key and that makes it real big like this. And I'm gonna actually uh, erase this middle. Now, if you see that it's not erasing hard like that and I want my eraser to like be hard, you need to click, you need to bring your hardness up to 100. Okay, just like that. Now. Uh, it looks like I erased some of the M, so I'm gonna have to Command Z and actually um, go back because I messed up, okay? So my eraser is probably too big, so I need to hit these brackets and make that a little bit smaller. I'm running out of time, okay? And now I can erase. Now my hardness has probably went back down. Nope, it's still up. Huh, okay, well, we're gonna just keep going with it here because we're running out of time. So I'm trying to get this little O erase because I want to replace that with the heart the football heart okay so i just need to keep clicking trying to get this out definitely could have done this easier but i'm racing against the clock so now that i've got that entire o out of there i want to do one more thing i'm going to go up here to this little select tool and i'm going to drag around this m one of the m's and then i'm going to right click on it and i'm going to click layer via cut that's gonna make my M's into two layers. So now what I have over here is I can click eyeball, turn off that M. I can click an eyeball uh, here and turn off that M, okay? So now I can try to make these fit. So I'm gonna hit V on my keyboard and that's gonna allow me to move my layer out to like right here, okay? And I'm gonna move this other layer out around this football, something like that, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to select my football over here and I'm gonna I'm gonna hold down command and select my two M's and then I'm gonna hit command T and I'm gonna make this whole thing a little bit smaller. Okay, boom, just like that. Okay, I'm gonna hit enter and now we have something here, okay? <laughs> we have a football mom design, at least, you know, the beginnings of one. Now we might wanna like make uh, this mom a little bit smaller maybe that might look a little bit better or we can make the football a little bit smaller let's try it let's try keeping the mom pretty big and let's make the football a little bit smaller so if I click over here on my football layer and I only got two minutes left and then I hit command T and I can actually make that a little bit smaller okay and then move that over here to the middle my computer's freaking out so you know we're just having fun we're gonna have to go with this for now because we are running out of time. 
hit enter. Let's go with that. Let's try to get that right in the middle. Okay, so we're going with that for now. Now, I want this to go on a black or heather gray shirt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on my heather gray layer. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to hit Command T. Now, I'm going to make this gray layer really big because I want it to fill up uh, the whole thing so that I can see. This is just so I can see what it's going to look like on this color shirt. So you can see this black and brown does not really work on heather gray. So I'm going to turn the football into white. So I'm going to double click on the text. I'm going to hit the color, change it over to white. Boom. We've got white there. Okay. Just like that. I'm going to change my mom over to white. Now I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm actually going to double click on this. It's going to pull up a little box and I'm going to go down here to color overlay and I'm going to select white there and that will change that M to white. And I'm going to do the same thing on my other M layer. Go down to color overlay and change that to white just like that. Okay. And the last thing is my football. Now my football is brown. I think you could do the brown on this Heather Gray, but it probably needs to be a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna do the same thing I just did with those M's. And I'm gonna double click on the football over here in my layer uh, panel. And I'm gonna color overlay that. And we're just gonna make it white for now. We could try some brown, but we're out of time. So this is what we've got in 10 minutes. We've got a sellable design. The last thing I'm gonna do as I run out of time here, I'm going to show you how to turn off the background and actually export it correctly for a t-shirt. So I'm out of time. You can see there's my design. So I'm going to turn off Heather Gray, the little Heather Gray, and I'm actually going to turn off this white as well. And that's going to make it transparent like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit File, Save As. And I am going to save this in my little Football Mom folder right there. And what I'm going to do is I want to click this. Now, you definitely want to save your Photoshop file, you know, so that you can come back to your design. But I'm going to save it as a PNG. Okay, so I select PNG. Uh, we'll save it as Football Mom. And I'm going to hit Save. And you want to make sure that this interlacing option is selected right there. That makes sure that you have a transparent background. And we hit OK. And we are done we have our design okay all right so as you can see it took me a little more than 10 minutes to export it and get completely done but that was a lot of fun we got a basic design a football mom design with a little heart in the middle and um so yeah it's ready to go on a shirt we could put it on a darker colored shirt and it's ready to go we can just upload this right to our print on demand provider and we're ready to go so hopefully that was helpful hopefully you learned something it was a lot of fun for me but it was a little bit nerve-wracking Hey, if you want a great way to get mock-ups, like real models for your t-shirt designs and other apparel products, and also if you want a great way to design t-shirts that's a lot easier than Photoshop, I want you to check out placeit.net. Placeit.net literally has thousands and thousands of mock-ups, all different models, different ages, all kinds of stuff there that you can put your t-shirt designs on and get real mock-ups. They also have a great t-shirt design generator that has like thousands of t-shirt designs that are just, you can just change up the text or just add, add and just subtract from to make your own t-shirt design in just a few seconds. It's really, really easy to use. And I want to, I want you to go to shirtschool.com slash place it and check it out. That is an affiliate link. I'll leave that link down in the description. Shirtschool.com slash place it. Go there, check out place it. It is really, really cool. You're going to love it. It's a great tool for your online store, your t-shirt or apparel business. Go there and check it out. We'll see you next week.